Hey, James. What? You forgot the power glow. Whoa, it's like it's already here. Ah! Oh, whatever, he's dead. It's over. I don't have to watch anymore. There's still one more. No! Plus also Freddy vs. Jason. Oh! And the remake. No! This wasn't one- this one wasn't too bad. No, this was- Especially after the disappointment that was number five. Yeah, no, it was- it was weird, cause like... It was a step above like four and five. Yeah. Oh, this was five. Wait, no, this was this, six. No, oh, jeez. There's a lot of these This movies. was a step above like some of the others. Cause there were a lot of like really good atmospheric moments. And but... like- like they actually expanded on the lore, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. Yeah. Kind of gave Freddy more of a backstory. Which was interesting. Yeah. But he was less the embodiment of evil that he was before. Which I guess is just like every single one of these slashers. They're pure evil. Yeah, and I didn't... The dream people was a weird thing. Yeah, they were like... They were basically... Have you ever seen the Mupp... Have you ever been to Disneyland? Or Disney World? You go to the Muppets 4D ride. It kind of felt like that during. There was a there was a 3D yeah, sequence the, at the, the end. The ending is in 3D, which yeah. granted, first off, the 3D was so much better than it was in Friday the Thirteenth Part Three, <sighs> and second off, at least it was only the end of the movie in 3D. Did you have to watch the entire thing in that terrible 3D? After like 20 minutes, we were like, screw this, and we watched like the 2D version until like the very end, and we're like, alright, we'll watch the climax. Stabby, like, stab, 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 twice. Like, this one knew not to get things too close to the camera, because in Friday the 13th Part 3, it's like, when you look at your finger like this, and it doesn't look good, because you can't, whoa, can't focus whoa. on both halves of your finger, <laughs> this one knew not to get things too close to the camera, That's so true. it was much better in that regard. So, this but, one was a movie meant for very young teenagers. That's the thing, though. There's, like, all these, like, good atmospheric moments and all these good things about it. And then the kills are so cartoonish. There's the one where he's falling and then, Fre like, Freddy is up there and, like, cuts his parachute... And then you see him below, and he pushes a spike thing below him. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what is this, Wile E. Coyote? Yeah, like, Rover? Freddy is basically the mask in this movie. <laughs> That's a good point. I didn't even think of that. That's what it felt like. Except the kills, there's blood and stuff. Bloody, grody, guts and blood. Um, yeah, like, he kills the dude in the video game, and he's like, You forgot the power glove! And he had a, he had a power glove. The power glove. The part where he's like, wait, what, what were some of his choice cuts? His choice lines. Uh, <laughs> nice hearing from you, Carlos. What was his name, Carlos? Like Carlos. Carlos was deaf. Okay, and he was deaf, and it's like, oh, I, guess, I bet his death is going to have something to do with the fact that he can't hear. And then, yeah. yeah, and then he can hear too well, and then his heads explode. And, nice hearing from you, Carlos. And then there's the, he kills the stoner guy, and he's like, I think I beat my high score. <laughs> it's just like, what is this? Is he a killer or a, the mask? Yeah, and then it goes from, like, those goofy kills into, like, this girl's backstory where she was abused by her father. Yeah, that was <laughs> like, nasty. Tone, like, tonal whiplash. Whoops, whoosh. Ugh. I mean, Ugh. some of it works, though. This is, I. It feels if, like if this was the first um, Nightmare on Elm Street movie, uh, people would just be flabbergasted. They're like, "What is this? Just <laughs> yeah. it's funny, but grisly deaths." Yeah, and there's nasty. It feels like, like there were two treatments of this script written. Like they wrote like the scary horror version, and then handed it off to someone else. And it's like, let's put some goofy, campy deaths in there. They were, they were they were campy. What are some other ones? All right, there was the. Oh, I called it from the beginning, by the way. Oh the, yeah, the child therapist. I'm like, she's Freddy's daughter, isn't he? Yeah, or like, isn't she? Like the moment they bring up Freddy having a kid, I'm it's like, like, it's her, it's, it's her. her, yeah. It's like I'm the kid. That was that guy that was like the first character that died off. 
So yeah, what's his name? I don't even. Remember. He was so bland, I didn't even care. Well, I think I don't think he had a name. I think it was John Doe. His name was John like, Doe. Oh, forgot. oh, he was amnesia. Yeah, he he forgot who he was. He was amnesia. <laughs> What? Okay, because in part four, he killed off the last of the Elm Street kids. Right. And then, like, was using Tina? In this one, he was stuck in Elm Street after all the kids were dead. He was stuck in that town. Well, I actually, I kind of did like the fact that this was, like, ten years later and he's killed wait, all wait. the kids and this town is, like, going crazy. Oh, that's what the plot was. Yes. I didn't catch that. It was, like, a two-second, like, exposition. Like, really bad. It looks like an oscilloscope graphic. Did you see that? It was, like, all shaky and blue. It's like, man, 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 uh, man, man, man. Am I, am I the cheat bot? <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. That was a deep cut Homestar Runner reference I just made. Man, 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 man. The cheap bot, right? Yes. Bring me more. Bring me more stuffed grape leaves. Um. Let's move on. I liked. The, I liked that the town had like gone crazy because Freddy had killed all their kids. But like, Freddy had already killed all the Elm Street kids by four. And then he was using that other girl to get to kids in. The other movies. But he couldn't leave Spring... Springfield? Springwood? Springwood. Um, was The Simpsons out by then? 91? Yeah. Was? Simpsons was like... 89, right? Gosh. Um, but... Why was he killing the kids in this movie? Uh, for fun. <laughs> it's just like, who are these kids? Because there's kind of the suggestion that like... John Doe is the last Elm Street no, kid? No, that wasn't a suggestion. He was, no, oh, he was the last one in Springwood. He was the last kid in Springwood that got out, according to the news bulletin. It wasn't Elm Street. It was Springwood. That's the plot. Freddy's getting bigger. He's going large. And then this happened. Freddy got it, it, fingered. It kind of completely contradicts the fourth and fifth movies. What about Which, the second? What about the second one? What about it? <laughs> this one actually kind of had some similar moments to the second one. Jeez, what happened like, in the Because, like, he drives one? he drives a bus in this oh, one. Oh, yeah. And then in, like, the video game, he's whipping the kid with a towel, which he didn't. Oh, right, with the, with, the, with the homoerotic scene in the second one. <laughs> that was great. So there's some references to it. Oh. Plus oh, a, that was a reference! Plus there was like the clip montage at the end, which I had clips from. Part I was two. like, ah, oh, remember when Freddy was kinda scary? They, in the clips, they didn't even show my favorite death scene, the first one. That's sad. That makes me sad. Um... So I suppose we should talk about this DVD. What about it? Because I have the Nightmare on Elm Street box set, which includes... Freddy's dead. Right. But it doesn't have the original 3D ending. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll just... Because there has been one home video release with the 3D ending. Which is this one? And it was this box set from the early 90s. And I'm like, I already have a box set. I'm oh, like, yeah, I was wondering. I'm like, this looks like like one of those really cheap DV original DVDs. Yeah, like I'm like, I'm not going to go out of my way to go buy this. Wait, this is from the 90s? This uh, is really well-preserved. Early... Late, late... Late 90s? No. Yeah, yeah late 90s, early 2000s, no. I think. Good years. Halo. Halo 1. Spongebob. What else came out then? Um, uh, Arthur? 99. Um, but, like, this is the only release of it with the original 3D ending oh, from this box set. it was so good. And I was like... Woo! I was initially like, I'll just forget it, because, like, I'm not going to go buy a different box set just for the 3D ending. But as luck Ladies would have it... Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at Matt. Presents terrible box sets of 3D things that he shouldn't buy. <laughs> as luck would have it, I was at Half Price Books and they were selling the entire box set individually. So I saved the receipt to this, so I might return it, because I already Wait, you just it. bought it? I bought it like a month or two ago. Oh, do you think... Do receipts, like, cancel out after a while? <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what their return we're, policy is. We're adults. Don't worry. We know about taxes. 
Regardless, I'm selling it because I have this. I just wanted to see the original. Oh yeah, movie. Alice Alice Cooper was in it, and oh, so yeah. was Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp was back. Oh yeah, Johnny Glenn's back. Yeah, except he was the drug PSA person. Mm -hmm. There was the obligatory, the kid the kid was smoking and stuff, and oh jeez, that part, the video game part. So this kid was smoking weed right in in the Elm Street house, and he's like watching the TV, and he gets sucked in. Playing Indigata De Vida, whatever that like that stoner song is, gets sucked in, and he's like in a video game and stuff, and Freddy's controlling him. And in the real world, you watch him actually mimic the video game things, like smacking his head into the wall, like boing 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 boing. With cartoon sound effects. It was the most jarring thing I've ever seen. That's when I'm like, what is this film? <laughs> What with, tone is this? Who are they? Cartoon sound effects. Because adults would be sickened if they watched that. They're like, I, I don't get it. And making the power glove reference. I think that scene was written by someone else. Like, yeah, yeah, I think. Or like some old guy that just had a like a young son that <laughs> was starting to play Nintendo. Now that's playing with power. That's what he said. He said it. It's like. What are we supposed to do? He's a serial killer. Oh, he's I, that's playing with power. Oh, I get it. It's funny. The serial killer made a reference to a thing that my son plays. What was that? This movie is so tonally inconsistent. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a clapper. It's the worst clapper. It will not come back on. <laughs> We're just gonna have to go. Well, down. we'll just we'll do this one in the dark. Uh, did you have anything else to say? Uh it was better than five. Because in spite of how tonally inconsistent it, it was, it was entertaining. I was entertained. I did like both tones. Yeah, like you they don't they don't mesh together at all. But I liked the goofy parts and I liked the serious parts. Yeah, they both work on their own. It um. The cheesiness was cheesy enough that I could accept it, and because it's six in the the franchise, it I forgave it and just kind of watched it for what it was, which was a teenage summer film. That's what it was. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Make sure to bring your. Wait, give me the glove. Make sure to bring your three D glasses. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome to my